Jesus is his name. Christ alone the way he reigns. Although we come again in faith, grateful for your grace. Christ alone be praised always. Risen and alive, it's him. Jesus is his name, Christ alone the way he reigns. Although we come again in faith, grateful for your grace, Christ alone be praised always. Risen and alive, it's him. this new day. Are you guys happy to be in the house of the Lord Amen. one more Sunday? Yes. Let's give them glory, honor, and praise. Are you happy that he woke you up this morning? You made it here safely this morning. Yes. That's enough to thank him for. And so much more. He carried you through another week. Yes. Glory to his holy name. Yes. 
Father, we worship you this morning. We give you glory and we give you honor for just for who you are because you didn't have to. Somebody did not wake up this morning. Somebody don't know what they're going to eat today. Somebody don't know where they're going to lay their head down at today. So we got to give them glory and honor. You all look refreshed this morning like you had a good nice rest. Somebody didn't last night. So we just must praise him. He gave us breath in our body this morning. He said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to let the rocks cry out for me. Is that what you want to do? Is that what you want to do? I don't hear y'all. All right, let's give him glory, honor, and praise. He's so worthy. He's so worthy to be worshipped. We worship him this morning. We thank him. We thank him for this Sunday. We thank him for this day that he has made. We must be glad and be great. We must be glad in it. So let's be glad. Because I'm glad if you're not glad. We praise his name. We thank him for what he's going to do here this morning. Some of y'all look back on over your life where you was. Where would you be? I know when I look over my life, where would I be if it was not for the Lord? I'm so glad about it. So glad that I said yes to him. Yes, yes. Amen. And I think all of y'all did because y'all here. Amen. You're not outside. You're not at the grocery store. You're not home. Amen. You're not cooking. You're here. So let's give him glory, honor, and praise. We welcome you. Praise his name. His holy name. We want to um, thank God for you guys who are visiting today, this morning here in house, and those who are online. We thank you. You could have went anywhere, but you chose to join us today. And we are so grateful. Yes, Lord. This morning, we're going to have our opening prayer from our Reverend Dante Adams. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you for two churches coming together as one right now, Lord. We ask you to come into the service, Lord. Empty us. Yes. Empty us of us, Lord, and fulfill yes. us and fill us back with your grace, your glory, Lord. Yes. Continue Amen. to keep us Amen. protected in your shield, Lord. Continue yes. to keep us protected in your blood from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, Lord. Yes. We ask for you to have your way in this service this yes. morning, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Amen. Read by our very own Reverend Lorenzo Glover. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, Saints. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let us stand to our feet as we read the Holy Word of God. Yes. Uh, it's uh, coming out of Acts, the book of Acts, uh, 11.
And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. May the Lord add a blessing to the readings of his word and may it be sanctified into the hearts of the saints who hear it. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Glove, for the, um, for the word. Um, we're going to now have our welcome announcement from our very own first. Amen. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. And I want to say once again, welcome to the Righteous Ministry visitors that we have in the house today. Right, right, right. Thank you, guys, for joining us today. You know, when God's people come together, it's got to be a good time. Yes. I, can, I have to say he is uniting us. Uh, we had a ministry in here two weeks ago. We had a women's fellowship. We have come across so many more of God's people in the last few weeks. Amen. You know, I just got to shout about that because <laughs> he's making us, he's connecting us. Amen. 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 Welcome again. If you want to join us, our Bible study is every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Yeah. Our own senior pastor, Daddy, is Taylor. My husband right, is right. our instructor. We are in the book of Acts, so please join us yeah. as you as you study to show yourself approved as well as ourselves. You can join us on Zoom. The meeting ID is 859-9203-7464. If you want to, you can also dial in 301-715-8592. And we are on Facebook Live as well. Please note, there will be no Bible study on Tuesday, May the 28th. The Celebration Christian Worship Center is tentatively scheduled to do their first water baptism. Hallelujah. Amen. Saturday, May 25th, 2024, at 3 p.m., Mount Lebanon Baptist Church, 2914 Diamond Street. All candidates on their profession of faith will meet with the, fa the pastor today, May 19th, and we have Sister Aretha here and her grandson, Jayon. So please note, see him after service today so he can discuss further with you the baptism. Please hold the date, June 20th. You see those uh, signs out there on 52nd Street, across the street there. We are going to hold our community event at Wild Lucy Park right across the street. Yeah. Each one, each one, each one. We are looking for more volunteers. We do anticipate a wonderful and great day that day as we come out and show the community what we care about, how we care about them the resources that we want to have. There's a whole list of groups that are going to be here that day. Ted Smith with voting resources and registration. We're going to have Auntie Faye, the gospel clown. She was here back in October, and the children had a wonderful time with her. So she's going to be here again with children activities. Why Not Prosper is a group for women that are being acclimated back into the community. They're going to be here with information on their organization. City Councilman, Councilperson Jamie Gunther is going to be here. Those up your firefighters, the police department. Yeah. ShopRite is one of our sponsors. Yeah. Praise God for ShopRite. Yeah. Temple yeah. Health, the expungement program. Yeah. Senator Ronnie Green from the 190th, district, 190th yeah. district is going to be here. And we're going to have a resource table of city services, free food. Yes. <laughs> Health screenings, clothing and food giveaways. So please plan to join us on June 20th. Amen. 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 Sunday, September 1st, another big day for us as we install our next pastor, Reverend Lorenzo Glover, and his lovely wife, Deacon Ann Glover, at the Triumph Baptist Church located at 1648 West Honey Park Avenue. Amen. 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 Great mercy. Yes. Again, we want to welcome the Righteous Healing Ministry. Yes. 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 Hebrews 10:25 tells us, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much more as you see the day approaching. Yes. 
special prayer request from us. Proverbs 22, 6 tells us, train up a child in the way it should go, and when he is old, he will not depart. Today is our Youth Sunday. I'm yeah. glad that's here. Thank God for our youth that are in the house today. We have a special presentation where they will read some scriptures for us um, as we do try to edify them as much as we can. Please continue to pray for our senior pastor, my husband, as he continues to recover. He is in the next phase. Hallelujah. Um, and we've heard his story again and again, but I have to say he's a miracle again and again. So thank God for him. <laughs> Holy Communion is the first Sunday of each month. We do celebrate birthdays on the second Sunday of each month. Youth Sunday is today. Missions Focus Sunday is the fifth Sunday of each month. Our church's missions, efforts in the community, especially concerning youth and families, is our prayer, and we ask you to pray for us on that aspect as well. Please keep the sick among us in prayer and those that have lost loved ones. Our church leaders, membership, and that we continue to grow in every way possible. Our focus here at the Celebration Christian Worship Center's focus is on three homes. A stronger home where you live, because it starts at home. A supportive church home. And a spiritual heavenly home eternally through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, and again, welcome to our service today, our youth service. First Lady for those announcements. We're now going to hear from our, um, we're going to hear from um, Miss Tamika Adam. Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? I'm excited to be here. I don't know about you, but I'm excited because God first and foremost woke me up and placed my feet on solid ground. I want to thank each and every one of you for welcoming our Right to Summer Ministries family to come and have service with you this morning. We want to thank you for opening up your church home, not only to allow us to come to service with you today, but to hold our first fundraiser international brunch here. Amen. Your home to you, Pastor Stadius, and to everyone else. And we look forward to having a blessed day, fun day, in the Lord with you this morning. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sister Tamika. Thank you. Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Now we're going to have a selection from our music ministry. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Yes. You. Yes. Let's <laughs> yeah. <you> rehearse. <laughs> Thank you. 
came through. The church was on fire with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It was running. There was a beat. And my feet were running. There was a beat. And then my hands were clapping. There was a beat. And my hands were clapping. There was a beat. And my hands were clapping. There was a beat. And my hands were clapping. There was a beat. And my hands were clapping. There was a beat. I'm just holding. I'm just holding on. Participates on the street. We go out in the streets because that's what we're supposed to do. The Amen. Word of God tells us that. He says, go, go out to the highways and the hedgeways Amen. and compel the people to come. Amen. Beloved, this is our job. This is our mandate. Amen. And this yeah. is what we're supposed to be doing. Well, we gather on Saturdays. We have a, uh, a, a schedule. We have a schedule of times here is in your programs of when we're going to be out on 52nd and Market Street. Wow. This is our stopping ground Amen. where we are at. And beloved, we invite you out there. We start at 11 a.m. Follow the dates. If you want to participate, here they are. Here are the dates. Please join us. We welcome each and every person to come help us. We Amen. pray for folks. We give uh, inspirational words to them. We hand out tracts. And beloved, we even have speakers who come out and give a little short word. You know, because that's it. <laughs> word on the street. Amen. 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 So, beloved, please do join us in our ministry. We're here to reach the souls of God's people. Amen. 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 So, please, please, please do join us. That's all I have to say. Is there anything you want to add, Pastor, to that? Amen, 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 amen. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the other part of our uh, worship, it is time. If you have your Bibles, please join me in the book of Malachi. Malachi. 
3, oh. verse 10. Uh -oh. <laughs> Malachi 3, mm. verse 10. <laughs> this is a vote of worship, amen? Amen. Yes, yes, it is. Is. yes, it is. Let us stand to our feet as we read the awesome word of God. Malachi 3, verse 10. It reads, it says, Bring the whole tithes into the storehouse, so that there will be food in my house. And test me in this, said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open up a window in heaven and pour out a blessing that you would not have room enough to receive it. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. God, God is telling you, test me in this. And see, when I give you more than you've given unto me. Beloved. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let us prepare our hearts and our minds for our giving. One, all you have to do is raise your hand and we'll make sure we get one to you. The next is our, uh, our beige and brown uh, envelope, which is our pastor's love offering envelope. Our pastor uh, does not receive a salary from the church, but live off of the offerings that we give unto him. Amen. If we appreciate our pastor, we love our pastor. Let's show him yeah. that we appreciate him. He's always there praying for us. He's teaching us. He's guiding us through Amen. God's Amen. word. So, beloved, show him that we appreciate him. Amen? Amen. Amen. And the last envelope that we have is for our guest speakers. It's a white envelope. But right now, we don't have a guest speaker. It's our very own Pastor Thaddeus S. Taylor, senior, will be speaking. But yes, we do have a guest speaker's envelope that we do show that we appreciate those who study the Word of God. Amen? Amen? To deliver to us. Amen? Amen. So we, we do have a speaker's but now it's going to be our pastor. Amen. And for those of you who are joining us online, we also have a way that you can give to this ministry. Amen. And that's through our cash app address. Because it's going to be used for the building of God's kingdom, love it, for this ministry that we do, not only in-house, but out there as well, love it. So please, please help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. <laughs> Amen. Increase this ministry. Amen. 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 So let us prepare our hearts and our minds for our giving at this hour. Amen. 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 We're going to ask uh, Brother Melvin if he would come up and just help us with our giving at this hour. Amen. pray that these finances will be used for the building of your kingdom. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are unable to participate this time, that they would be able to next time. 
Lord God, we ask that you cover each and every soul here today. Amen. That your word would go forth. That it would bless people's lives. That it would change people's lives. And Lord God, we'll be ever so careful to give you the honor, to give you the praise that you so rightly deserve. Amen. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Uh, we are now going to have some remarks from Pastor Elsie Bowen from Righteous Healing right. Ministry. So, right. welcome our guest. I said, could you help me? And he 
come back. I said, why do you get that? He said, you have the Holy Ghost on fire. Mm. If you touch me and I hit that concrete, uh -huh. Uh -huh. what are you going to do? Uh -huh. So you will make me touch you. What am I saying? There are pivotal moments in our life. Don't mind this. This is my natural moisturizer. You all know what I mean. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> There's a pivotal point in our life when we know this is the time. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, this is indeed. the hour. Yes. yes. This yes. is the moment. Yes. Yes. And I pray for those of us who are here today, even for me. Amen. Today may be a pivotal point in my life. Amen. Because we don't have it all. Yes. And you, you have a word ready here. Amen. And that word may, may bring may, may, may bring a pivotal point out of me that has been hidden. That mm -hmm. can be released out of me and take me to another level in heaven. Amen. 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 So I'm looking Amen. forward to your word. Mm -hmm. I thank you all for, for allowing us to come here. Amen. Most Amen. of all, I thank you all for allowing us to do the international lunch Amen. here. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. I love your house. The, um, the Ten Commandments say, Thou shalt not covet. <laughs> 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 And I just want to say one last thing before I leave. On the 20th, it's not going to be the three of us. Mm. I got my son, um, evangelist, overseer, who's mm. here with us. Um, Mr. Brown, Brown, Ella will be coming. We, we can have a whole bunch of people. Amen. 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 But we, God ordained us, the three of us, to be here today. Yeah. Fill me up. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor Elise, for sharing your testimony. Amen. Somebody needed to hear that this yes, morning yes, in yes. the house or even on or either online. And I love testimonies because it compels and let people know that God is real. Yes. yes. He yes. is real. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. he is. Yes. Yes. And um so, so they want to come to know him and do things different. Amen. Yes. And be different. Yes. Because it's nothing like being in the presence of the Lord. My Lord, my Lord. Thank you again. And I just thank God for this day. Because, Pastor, I thank you. I, I'm going to say because um, this is what church is. We're supposed Amen. to fellowship together. Yeah. Yeah. Together. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. Worshiping together. Because it's all about the Lord. Not about us. It's yeah. about Him. Amen. And I thank you for that, for your heart, for people sharing. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have um, a presentation from our youth. Amen. 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 I want to call up Zion and Sayana first so that they can read some scripture for us. Amen. I said it earlier, our young people are challenged. The more we can edify them about our Lord and Savior, the better off they will be. Amen. Whether it's one scripture, two scriptures, 20 scriptures, Amen. we gotta start somewhere. Zion and Zion come up, and then we're gonna have um, Jayon come up and do his presentation for us. Matthew 5, 9, in Romans 12, 18, these scriptures all speak about peace. Amen. We know our streets are trouble. Yes. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. We need to instill something in our children about peace. Yes. Okay? It can't always be peaceful. Let's keep it real. Right. But if we start them to just learn and understand what God wants for them, yes. then maybe we can do something different. Amen. Okay? Amen. Praise the Lord. You keep um, in perfect, perfect peace, who, whose mind is still stayed you, stay on you because he trusts in you. Bless are, wait, bless are the peacemakers of four. They shall be called sons of God. If if possible, so here, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Amen. 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 Amen.
here again. <laughs> Can we have peace without love? <laughs> we cannot have peace without some love. Tayana is going to read 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8. And I think we all probably know that verse, right? Love is patient, love is kind, love, love is not envy, love is not proud, love does not dishonor others, love does not seek self-seeking, love is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong, love does not delight in, e in evil, but rejoices in truth, it always protects, it always Hope. It always trust, always hopes, always pro persevere. Love, love never fails. Hallelujah. We know love never fails. Let's give our youth some love.
everything till now. <laughs> <laughs> because the Holy Spirit did a whole lot of talking. Amen. 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 <coughs> and I didn't need to get in the way Amen. of what he was saying to Glory you. Glory to God. We give honor to God and mm -hmm. to the pastor of Righteous, uh, Righteous Healing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. To Pastor Glover. Amen. To Amen. Reverend Adams. Amen. 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 I should acknowledge our MC Deacon. <laughs> oh, I got Elder Amen. back there in the back. Elder Love. What that means is I ought to get an amen at least every now and then. <laughs> if I say the right thing. Amen. All right. And so we thank God for you. We amen. thank God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, yes. who paid the sin debt. Yes. And out of all the things that God has done for us, mm -hmm. the one thing he did that without it we wouldn't know him as he forgave us. Yes. Amen. 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 Through the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. By, like it's free to us, but it wasn't free for him. Amen. He paid. Yes, he did. Oh, come on, y'all. Yes, What's up? It is so true. Jesus paid it all and all to him I owe. Sin had left the crimson stain, but he watched. Yeah. White as snow. White as snow. Yeah. I want to thank the young people. Y'all make me so proud. I know pride comes before the fall, but I hope this kind is a good pride. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You guys, I will say this because you've been doing it now for a little while. Amen. Is somebody hiding in here? I just got one some cold. Hey. I see you uh, Oh, I'm already right. turning okay. it off. Turn okay. It off. Amen. 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 I'm glad you're looking out for her. That's my wife back there, by the way. She's looking out for her husband, so I ain't trying to get in the way of that. Amen. Amen. Because when we leave here, I got to go home and I need her. Amen. So you didn't see me jump off at her. You saw me like very nicely. Amen. 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 I need that woman. Amen. Yes. And I need her before recently, but I definitely need her now. Amen. Amen. I, I just I love her. You know, uh, Reverend Glover, when he gets up, talks about last but not least, and about his wife, I'm going to say first and foremost. Amen. Amen. Is my wife. Amen. Who, who I admire, by the way. Even before we married, I admired her from a distance. But she was dating somebody else. Yeah, I know. She was, she was, she, she was, she was, wait, she was dating somebody else. And I looked at him and said, he ain't treating her right. Let me just wait. <laughs> if the Lord so will, That's right. let it be done on earth Hallelujah. as it is in heaven. Uh, I was seeing somebody else too, but I was trying to get rid of him anyway. But that's beside the point. The fact is that, that how we met, and she said, she said to someone. Because we were working on our nonprofit then, so it was eight years ago. It was eight years ago that we met. And so I, how I got to know her is I needed help with the nonprofit. And so her mom had done a nonprofit. So I said, Could you help me with the nonprofit? Mm -hmm. And so she was so willing. She was like, Oh, let me get it. She gave me all this information, which to this day I haven't read. But she gave me all this information to help me with the nonprofit. But what I was reading was not the books she gave me, but the woman that gave them to me. And from there, and I will say this, we started dating to all of you in relationships or whatever the case is. And by the way, brothers, good to see you too, by the way, our dear brother here, I read the son, J.I.'s father. Um, we started out, because we've both been in relationships, let's just be real, okay? 
at our age, if you had been in a relationship, you were pretty pitiful to begin with. But because <laughs> we were we're not young. So true. And so what we decided to do, which we do to this day, even when we're dating and we called each other when we didn't see each other, was we prayed every day together at least once. Amen. Amen. Even while we were dating. Amen. I didn't propose to marry her. We just started praying because we started dating and we became exclusive. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we continued when we got engaged. And to this day, even this morning, that's what we do. Amen. And I will say the great power, because I, I can be uh, quite a bit to be a <laughs> dopey <don't be> lamb. <laughs> I could be quite a bit to be married to, but she is the one woman that I had prayed for who could tell me about myself and I don't get mad at her. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> who, I'm serious, who could tell me about myself and I don't I can't get mad at her because of how she tells me. Amen. Okay? Amen. That that takes some real skill, ladies. I just want to let you know us men. <laughs> Sometimes we don't mind being told about ourselves, but it's how you tell us yes. that will send us in the wrong direction. And so, but she has that skill. And I don't know where it came from, but she got it. And even so, a friend of mine said, well, you know your wife don't like how you eat her. I said, trust me, my wife has told me that so many times. And she hasn't beat me over the head with it. But she just gives me that look sometimes. They're like, okay, I need to put that down, or whatever the case is. So I'm just saying that to you because um, um, I owe her that. Amen. Amen. I owe her that. I owe her that. Amen. Give her I owe her that. Now, if she asks me for money, <laughs> You are your own baby, but uh, <laughs> but I owe her at least honor. Okay. Yeah, All right. We're in on when, on Tuesdays. We're in the Book of Acts. Yeah. Um. And and I uh, I've taught a lot of Bible because this is 51 years of doing this thing, and I mean 51 years of constantly doing something. I I have to say I've never gotten as much out of a book as I'm getting out of the book of Acts. Because it really, and here's what we do, which is what we do anyway. We miss stuff trying to get to something else mm -hmm. when the thing we missed was as important as where you're trying to go. Amen. And so you've got to read, you know, the Bible. There's a thing when you're studying the Bible called analysis and synthesis. Analysis is taking it apart. Amen. Synthesis is after you've taken it apart, looked at its pieces, of putting it back together again. And so looking at the chapter and the book and the place where we are, a lot of people look at one thing, but they miss another thing. And the thing that we miss is the key to what happened. So true. Amen. 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 Now, now, let me read the scripture, and then I, you'll, see, and I'm gonna read it in a way that you'll go, oh. Verse 22 of chapter 11 of Acts. Then the news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, meaning the church of Antioch had a reputation that went outside its four walls, and they sent out Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was what? Glad, and he word, encouraged them. All that with purpose of heart, they should continue with the Lord. For he was a good man, a lot of, we talk about Barnabas, we will. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. How? When he went and did his job of encouragement. We'll talk about that. His encouragement impacted the whole church. Let me continue on, because it didn't just impact the whole Antioch church. Then Barnabas departed for Tarsus to seek Saul. 
Oh, we know it's Paul. Well, isn't Paul supposed to be on mission fields doing all his work? No, he was home. So, so Paul went home and was at home where he should not have been. Sometimes it takes somebody to come tell you. Uh, Y'all don't hear me. I feel like preaching without finishing the text. <laughs> Sometimes it takes somebody to come tell you that ain't what God wants you to do. Yeah. And when he found him, meaning he wasn't out there. He was at home. They had to go looking for him. When he found him, he brought him to Antioch. And so it was that a whole year they assembled <coughs> with the church of Antioch and taught a great many people. Why? That was his job. That was his calling. Yeah. That's why God saved him. Mm -hmm. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Look, we didn't get the name Christian from ourselves. We didn't go in a room and say, all right, what are we going to call ourselves? Right. Celebration Christian worship. No, it didn't happen like that. People looked at them who were believers and said they are Christians. Amen. Now that is saying something, isn't it? Yes. Do I have a witness here? Yes. If somebody looked at you and said you're a Christian, yes. that that's what you are, that's how you act, that's how you talk, that's how you walk, not you have to put your chest out and tell them. They just looked at you, Amen. saw you, and said that's a Christian. Yes. I could get a benediction right now, but I can't name a sermon. <laughs> the sermon is the church needs encouragement. Yes, yes, yes. The church. The word encouragement in this text comes from the Greek word, which is to call, to urge, to move forward. That para is the, uh, the idea that you don't encourage, encourage from out here, but that you cur encourage from alongside. Amen. That if I really want to encourage you, Pastor, I don't just call you up and say, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on over there, but I want to encourage you. No, encouragement is me coming with you, you coming here with me, we be in fellowship, and me then saying, you need to keep it moving. In the name of Jesus. So, and when you encourage, you, enc you comfort, you, you exhort, mm -hmm. you beseech, mm -hmm. you advocate, you entreat, you console, you urge to move in a positive direction. Yes. That words matter. Amen. And it's not just how I feel about you, yes. but it's what I say to you yes. that's going to help you along the way. Yes. That the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is the comforter. Yes. The same word that is used of, of Barnabas yes. is used of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to describe the work that he does in the church mm -hmm. to motivate us and to help us to move in a good, positive direction. Yes. Do I hear this here? Yes. Too many of us are going in the wrong direction. Yes. And if you need to put your hand to the plow yes. and you look forward, because Jesus said if you look back and your plow is going forward, uh -huh. you're not fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. It commonly refers to him as an advocate and a counselor. Like sometimes you just need to say to somebody, what can I say to help you along the way? Okay. That's what he did. In the text, Barnabas was sent by the church. Now the interesting thing is this. It says that the church of Jerusalem heard that the church in Antioch was growing. They had to decide what did they need. Let me drink some water, y'all, because I'm all in it. <laughs> they had been sending Peter and John. If you read Acts, they had to send Peter and John anytime they needed validation. But this one time, they sent Barnabas. Why did they send Barnabas? 
because Acts 4, 6 says Barnabas is called the son of consolation. Barnabas is called the son of encouragement. Barnabas had been an encourager from the beginning of the church. There's no doubt that Barnabas probably witnessed the resurrected Lord in a group of 120 or so odd people, the 500 or whatever it was, that Barnabas was with them in the beginning and that even the beginning of the church when the church was just getting started, when the day of Pentecost had just happened, and you know how when you're starting a ministry, you know how that goes. People criticize you, people talk about you, people want you to stop what you're doing. They say, why are you wasting your time? This doesn't matter, it's not important. Barnabas, even then, was a person that the Bible says sold his land, gave it all the money to the church so that the church could roll on. Amen. Do I have a witness here? Yes. Tell you something, new ministries fail many times for what? A lack of money. Yes. Barnabas said, no, 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 we ain't gonna stop on no money. We're going to give you the money you need to keep it rolling. He was wealthy, he owned land, he gave it all to God, and God took care of him. Amen. Now, it was that kind of man Amen. that the apostle said, we need to send him. Yeah. Oh, y'all hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Say, sometimes you don't need the apostles, you just need him. Yeah. Well, do I have a witness here? Yeah. Him, who is what? A good man. Yeah. Him, who is what? Full of the Holy Ghost. Him who is full of faith. Meaning they trust God with their whole heart. Not leaning on his own understanding. And in all of his ways, acknowledging him. Letting him direct him. That's who we need to send. I'm here to let you know that in this world, God wants to send people like that. You don't have to be Peter, James, and John. You don't have to be all those other apostles, Nathaniel and Jude and them. You just be you, but be full of the Holy Ghost. Be full of faith. Be full of the power of Jesus Christ. Oh, it will, will, yes it will. That's right. It will make a difference. Now here's the thing that I'm going to close because I'm, I'm going to give the gospel. Because I'm like, you know, and I got to be on the CCT at one of them. But that's beside the point. The fact is this, and this is so important for you to know. We here, right here, right now, whether you're a parent, whether you're a grandparent, whether you're uh, on the choir, whether you're a minister, whether you're whoever, deacon, whatever it is, this brother here, coming to be with his son, the fact is you need encouragement. Yeah. 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 Now what is the opposite of yeah. encouragement? Discouragement. Discouragement, amen. Yeah. The devil, that's right. oh y'all don't hear me. Y'all yeah. 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 know I'm telling the truth. Uh, that's right. The devil is full of discouragement. Yeah. The yeah. devil will say don't do for the Lord uh, what the Lord say do. The devil is a thief. Yes. The devil is a rot liar. Yes. The devil is destructive. Yes. The devil will try to fool you yes. into not doing the will of God. Yes. He doesn't want you to grow in grace. Yes. He doesn't want you to represent Jesus Christ. Yes. He doesn't want you to be a good young person out here in the community. He wants you to feel like, well, I got to do what they do. Because if, they, if I do what they do, then they will like me. And I'm going to tell all of you young people that in a few years, Here's them same people, you will not see them. Yeah. Oh, do I have a witness here? I got one person in my life who I've known from 10th grade, and that's it. I don't have none them, them folks, I don't know where they at. Some of them not even alive now. But the point is, you trying to please somebody, as my daddy said, who don't pay your bills, don't really care about you. When you need them, they won't be there. And yet you want to make them feel good about you. Right. Y'all think on that one for a second. Because right. I'm here to let you know, you need Jesus yes. all the time. Yes. Oh, when you wake up in the morning.
the middle of the night, yeah. at the midnight hour, and you don't know what to do, and nobody is around physically to look at you, uh -huh. you can turn to Jesus, yeah. and he'll hear your cry. Yeah. He'll, he'll hear your pity and your groan. Barnabas had to go. Barnabas had to encourage them. Yes. As good as it was, mm -hmm. it is easy to fall apart, especially in a new ministry. Amen. Do I have a witness? Forget a new ministry. On the way here, I saw this big church boarded up. Yes. Nobody there because as long as that church was there, it's not open anymore. Yes. Not only new but old have gone to do other things, not serving Jesus Christ, not ministering to the needs of people, trying to keep your doors open on tradition. I know I'm speaking online. Amen, Holy Ghost. I know I'm talking to people in other churches. Let me tell you something. It ain't about perpetuating tra uh, traditions and, and religion and because my mama and my daddy did it and my cousins used to do it and all that kind of stuff. The world needs Christ right now. And he is as real today as he was on the road to Damascus where he met Paul. I want you to let you know that. So they said Barnabas. Notice what the scripture says about Barnabas. Barnabas, when he saw them, he was glad. The first thing you need to do, and I'll give you some points here, is when somebody's trying to do good, you rejoice. Amen. Oh, Y'all don't hear me. You want to encourage somebody when they're doing good, yes. you rejoice. Yes. When say, that you're serving God in whatever capacity, he said, that's the grace of God. Yes. Do I have a witness here? Yes. Some of us would say, I'm only doing it by the grace of God. Because yes. I am what I am. Amen. By the grace of God. And this grace in me is not in vain. That's what Paul said. But anyway, the point is he looked at the situation. He saw whatever they did. They needed education. He took care of that. But he was glad for whatever they did. And thanked God for it. But then he didn't just thank God and say, oh, well, you do our thing. No, he encouraged them yeah. to continue. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah. God yeah. don't want 99 and a half of you. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Yeah. Just like you don't want 99 and a half of him. Yeah. Oh, I'm here. God, you want a blessing, y'all. I'll give you some, yeah. but the rest is on you. No, you want God to bless you 100%. Of the time with 100% of what you ask them for. Yeah. And so what we have here is somebody who's seen God at work, knowing there's more to be done, but not stopping there. And here's the second thing he did. He did not think he was the whole answer. Oh, y'all hear me today. He did not think he was the whole answer. He didn't say, they sent me from Jerusalem, and I am the answer. No, he didn't do that. No, 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 no. He went, oh, you got to hear me. He got some help. Amen. He got some help. Because he knew the job was too big for him. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Don't think yourself more highly, the Bible says, than you ought to think. But to think soberly, meaning you should think with some sense. Amen. Do I have a witness here? Act like you got some sense when it comes to what you can do. And it's not just human sense. It's godly sense. Godly sense says, I can't do all of this. The world says, like Donald Trump, I'm the answer. That's why we ain't voting him in no more. But the fact of the matter is, you can't do it all by yourself. You need help. Oh, hear me. Who did he get? He didn't get Peter, James, and John. 
He didn't get somebody like Philip who was still around. He went and got the person that God had anointed. Amen. And he recognized it. Now, where did he meet Paul? When Paul would not be received by the church, the Bible in Acts says, Barnabas, the son of consolation, the son of encouragement, spoke on his behalf and said to the people, don't treat Paul like that, because Paul had persecuted the church. They were like, man, nothing to do with him. My mama got arrested by him. My cousin got thrown in jail. Stephen got stoned to death. We don't want to have nothing. And then he got papers to go from Jerusalem to Damascus, which was totally in another area, to get Christians to bring them back to Jerusalem so that they could persecute him. That guy got saved, and now you want us to trust him? <laughs> Oh, y'all y'all don't, don't know nothing about what it means to forgive. Amen. 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 Oh, do I have a witness here? Yes. Yes. Somebody hurts you, you can't forgive. Amen. Amen. Even if they get saved, you wish they'd go to hell. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, y'all, don't oh, come on down. No. Amen. 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 Am I the only one in the room? No. I know somebody who was saved and wishing they weren't so they go to hell anyway? And knowing they're not because they saved? Oh, I've been there. But the point is, they were there. That's where the church was. Barnabas, who had consoled the church from the beginning, came to the council of believers and said, no, that is wrong. Because if God forgave you of what you did, oh, y'all don't hear me. If Jesus hanging on the cross first words out of his mouth was, Father, forgive him, yeah. for they know not what they do. Yeah. If Jesus can forgive yeah. us yeah. of all our sins, yeah. carry all our transgressions yeah. on his shoulder, yeah. got whipped for you, beaten for you, wounded for you, denied for you, yeah. treated wrong for you, yeah. and you're going to tell me you can't forgive somebody? My Lord, my Lord. And they were like, well, you're kind of right, Barnabas. <laughs> what can we say? And they received him, but they did it reluctantly. Mm -hmm. yes. And no doubt, if I was Paul, that hurt. Oh, well, listen to me, that hurt. I know I did wrong. I had to repent of what I did. I'm already now being persecuted for getting saved when I did. Because everybody who knew me wanted me to keep being <laughs> But I used to be. Amen. 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 Well, y'all don't know what I tell. Nobody uh -huh. had friends that they I had to get rid of. I get you. Because now I'm saved. And they mad because I got saved. Yeah. And they wish I'd stay unsaved. Yeah. So that I can hang out with them like I used Amen. to. Uh -huh. I didn't say anything to convict anybody. Because whatever they did, I did. Amen. Whatever they said, I said. Wherever they went. I went how they thought I thought. Yeah. So hey, this is what was going on there. My God. Barnabas was there and he did not forget. So when he needed some help, Saul was home. You say, why would you go after somebody who's home? Because sometimes you home people. Amen, church. Amen. Some of y'all online talk about I could be at the church online and you need to be in here. Amen. You heard what the lady right. said. It looks nice in here. If anything else, come in here and observe That's the right. beauty of the building. Okay? But the fact is that, that, that some of you home folks, I'm reaching out to you, and yes. some of you know I am because I've been talking to you. Amen. The fact is, that's nice. But God wants you in the house. David said, I'm glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. My feet shall stand within my gates. Oh, Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. Oh, y'all don't know what the Bible is saying. How you feel about it? 
Yeah, they fools and act crazy. Yeah, yeah they hypocrites sometimes, but so are you. Yeah. So don't act like you don't know a hypocrite, because when you look in the mirror, you might see one. Amen. 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 The fact of the matter is, he went to his house, found him, and the Bible says he brought him. Doesn't say that Paul ran after him. He brought him. So here's Paul, Saul, hurt by the church, because there is church hurt, hurt by how they did, studying alone what God wants him to do. And here's Barnabas grabbing him by the hand, saying, Come on with me. We got some work to do. Well, I'm so glad. I'm glad that there are folks who've been in my life. Yes. Who encouraged me. Amen. I'm glad Amen. that I've known a Barnabas or two Amen. every now and then. Amen. I'm glad that through encouragement that I will learn how to succeed. Yes. That the encouragement provides a boost to lift me up with confidence for my life. Right. Encouragement helps me and motivates me yes. and people to look at their positive attempts. That encouragement are the words of comfort and of power yeah. to bring change yeah. or big difference yeah. in someone's life. Mm -hmm. Encouragement, as in the case of Barnabas, is also a spiritual gift Amen. that God gives us Amen. when we need it. Yeah. You need that gifted person. Yeah. You need that positive individual. Yeah. You need that someone that says, keep on running. Yeah. Keep on praying. Yeah. Keep on searching. Yeah. Keep on preaching. Yeah. Keep on teaching. Yeah. Keep on singing. Yeah. Keep on shouting. Yeah. Keep on serving. Yeah. Serve God with all your heart. Feel that sense of urgency that I'm a debtor to the Greeks and the Romans. Yeah. Paul said, as much as is in me, yeah. I'm ready yeah. to yeah. preach the gospel right. to them that are in Rome also. Yeah. That's the same person that he brought to Antioch. That same person later would say, woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's the same one he brought by the hand. That's the same person that later in life, in the jailhouse in Philippi, when they beat him and whipped him for preaching the gospel, for casting out demons in the midnight hour. Oh, y'all know how it is. Prayed and sang hymns. And all of a sudden, the jail began to shake like a drunken man. And my Bible says that the stocks fell off their arms, that the stocks fell off their feet, and they didn't go nowhere because they were not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God and the salvation. But they stayed so long, read so long, fought so long, that a jailer came running saying, what must I do? Right. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah. To be saved. Yeah. And he said, believe yeah. on the Lord Jesus Christ yeah. and thou shalt be saved yeah. in thy house. Yeah. Yeah. We need encouragement. Yeah. We need steadfastness. Yeah. We need to be immovable. Yeah. Always abounding right. in the work of the Lord. Right. For as much as you know, well, your labors are not right. in vain Amen. in the Lord. Yes, right. Oh yeah, if God's for you, who can be against you? Amen. Amen. Yes. He that delivered not his own son, but delivered him up for yes. us all, how shall he not by him yes. freely give us all things? Yes. Keep on <laughs> preaching. Yes. Keep on serving. Keep yeah. on coming, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah. Keep yes. on doing what yeah. you're doing yeah. in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get weary and well doing. That's yes. right. Because in due Amen. season you shall reap if you faint not. Amen. We're going to give the invitation right now. I'm going to ask Reverend Glover to come up. I ain't got much left. Yes. All right. That's all right. Pray for you.
according to First Lady. So let us pray over the light refreshments before we have a benediction. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we ask that you bless uh, the light refreshments, Heavenly Father, for the nourishment of each and every saint that is here. Oh God, may they enjoy it, may we commune together, but most of all, may we keep you in our hearts and our minds. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 All right. Now let us look to the Lord as we uh, recite a benediction. Now to him who is able to keep us from stumbling and to make us stand in the presence of his glory, blameless, with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forevermore. Let the people of God say amen, 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 amen. and amen. Amen. You're dismissed.